So you are a researcher and at the same time you are a Catholic priest. So uh, the question is, should be patristic studies a confessional science or it uh, can, can it depend on religion? I'm a Catholic priest, but I think that uh, patrology is uh, more important, not only for the church, but uh, for the science, uh, uh, particularly the theological sciences in Africa. You know, we found our theology uh, on patristic source, uh, on uh, patristic uh, sciences to find the, to learn the uh, epistemological uh, structure the, of uh, argumentation of uh, sciences of uh, theology. Uh, that's why the, in our university uh, I'm teaching patrology, patrology and history uh, in the, at the Catholic uh, University of Congo. Uh, there we have, we have found that the patristic sciences are very, very important for the future, for the, the, the basic of the theology, uh, of the African theology. That is uh, uh, my conviction. That is uh, not only the, the science for the church, but the science for the, for the, the, the future of uh, Africa. So you told that you worked at, uh, at Catholic University of Congo. What are the other patristic centers in Africa? We have uh, many centers uh, of patristic. I am national correspondent of uh, International uh, Association in Africa, in Congo. The travel, I have some many contacts. Uh, many contacts with uh, colleagues, with professors uh, uh, in Africa, uh, in Cameroon, in Addis Ababa, in uh, Senegal, and so on. In Congo, we have uh, uh, 30, 30 uh, uh, professors of uh, patrology. This is very important, very important. We have uh, an association, African Association of uh, Patrologists, and we have uh, some Catholic and Protestant evangelical uh, uh, scholars uh, in Congo who study uh, patrology or teach patrology uh, as basic of the theology, basic of the history of uh, Africa. We know that there are many nationalities in Africa. So what is the language or dialogue between patrologists of Africa? In which, in, uh, what language you can visit on the conferences? Yeah, we, we use many languages. African languages, colonial languages, French, uh, Portuguese, uh, English, English, and German language. But I think the very important point of uh, the pattern is the knowledge of uh, Latin and Greek language. This is the basic. Uh, from Latin, from uh, Greek languages, we can say what we will. We need the new ideas to construct the, the new world, we find uh, we need new ideas to, to build Africa uh, and the situation where we can uh, find the new ideas and the new uh, organization, uh, how to find the solution uh, uh, in other in in, contexts. Uh, in our context and how to find a solution uh, uh, today for African people, for African people and for African churches. Uh, 
Saint Fathers lived many, many years ago. What they can tell to people of Africa? Yeah, this is, uh, history is very important for all peoples. Uh, without history, we can we can't invent. We can't uh, build the the new uh, the new world. Uh, history is important to see in the past what was the problem, the matter, and the solution in the past. And we can say what was, what is our problem, our situation, how we can find the new solution, the new uh, organization uh, uh, according to the tradition. Uh, you do know, you do know that. Uh, Africa, that is uh, Ipon, that is Africa. <laughs> yeah, uh, Egypt, that is Africa. And we go back in the past to see what was the force of this civilization. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. much.